Thank you for allowing me this opportunity to address you at this summit on citizen diplomacy with the Arizona Council for International Visitors and Global Ties U.S. I'm so sorry I am unable to join you in person, but trust you'll have a productive conference and many valuable discussions. I've been fortunate to enjoy many opportunities to travel internationally, and I'm likely speaking to the choir today as to the importance of this work. One of my first opportunities to travel and become a citizen diplomat was at the young age of 19 when I traveled to Taiwan to serve as a missionary for my church. As many of you know, the first time you travel abroad and live amongst those in a different culture, it's an eye-opening experience to say the least. The exchange of ideas and traditions and your first real-life experiences with new cultures are invaluable to a global community where borders seem to creep closer and closer by the day. Personally, I had many opportunities to share what life in the United States is like with people who may not ever get the chance to visit our nation for themselves. With the patience of the local people, I learned to speak Mandarin Chinese fluently during my time in Taiwan. Perhaps not surprisingly to anyone involved in international relations, I still use it today. Since returning to the United States, I've been able to visit China more than 50 times, mostly in a professional capacity. It was those times when I was serving a mission in Taiwan that helped me to best understand the culture and allowed me to interact so fluidly with local customs in different capacities. One of my favorite experiences with visiting China has been negotiating the terms of hiring a basketball player to play in the U.S. You may have heard of him, Yao Ming. This was such a unique experience that HBO even followed along to document the affair. I think many opportunities arise for each of us as we continue to be citizen diplomats for the benefit of all nations. The more I travel and discuss matters important to our nation and others, and with such an ever-expanding array of technology available, I realize that the world is becoming more and more connected into one global community. As I'm sure most of you have experienced, diplomacy is a pursuit that you gain momentum in. I currently have the opportunity to serve as the Chairman of the Western Hemisphere on the House Committee on Foreign Affairs and continue to strive to improve our global efforts. I've also been very active in the nation's immigration law discussion and will work towards solutions that will allow our easing of diplomacy for citizens at home and abroad. Thank you again for this opportunity and I wish you the very best.